What do you want to get to next? I guess Rock on SmackDown. This is uh... Oh, it's a pretty big so, show. Pretty big show Friday. Yeah, they're going to get a great rating, that's for sure. He was he he was great. There's no doubt about it. Um, it's so funny because if left to the devices of you know, it's like he wanted to turn because he want, didn't want people to boo him. Yeah, that that was your story that reported that. I was I wasn't surprised, but I just I, I didn't really equate it with some of the negative things that he's been dealing with in, in Hollywood as well with black Adam and, and these other, these other things that, you know, it, they weren't giant successes. So in a sense, they were failures in comparison. Uh, but I didn't even equate that until you wrote what you wrote. So the thing on, on that is um, I just think it's, it's funny because when you watch that crowd, I mean, the crowd was ready to just cheer like crazy for him. Mm -hmm. And Roman tried to set it up so we were to get booed. And he tried to get booed. And they really wanted, like, even after he insulted them and everything like that, by the end, they were they were cheering him again. So it was like, it was, um, it was fasting to watch, you know, because he wants to be, he wants to be a heel in, in this incarnation. Okay, because... but we know, we know this fan base, though. The easiest way for him to get cheered is to be a heel. In the long run, yeah, I suppose. Um, but I think that his 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 star power is so overwhelming to that audience. And um, you know, again, like they sold, I think it was thirty three hundred tickets in the last the last week. You know, once once he was announced on TV, um, and could have sold even more probably, but. Um, the, it it's you know it's just he's he's it, you know like there were people and certainly in vegas there were a lot of people there to boo him and in this one it was like i don't think there were that many people there to boo him they did because he wanted them to and he forced them to but um you know it's it's just it's just interesting um they didn't really push the the idea of the tag match he was just kind of out there to perform the other thing is again you know his arms are enormous <laughs> i mean it was like there was a pose there where like it's like he was by, by his size and they're on his focusing on his arms his arms look like they're bigger than his head <laughs> i mean it's just like this guy wow you know i i heard from so many people who were ecstatic that this is the version of the rock that they were getting because it reminded them of the 1999 rock. yeah yeah well he's he's one of the great talkers of all time i mean and he's as correct charismatic as you know him and hogan are probably you know i mean even even probably more than austin you know i mean they're just in, you know incredibly charismatic people do you did you get any clues as to because some people were trying to find clues in the way he held his hands up, it looked like a guns up sign <laughs> instead of the way that Roman holds his finger up for the bloodline signal. Or uh, he, when he mentioned the bloodline, he only mentioned himself and Roman. Like I was wondering if there was anything strategic that was kind of They're teasing a, a, a future babyface tour turn. But I don't. I mean, I don't know. This seems like this thing is kind of being written as we're going. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think the long run is to still do the match. You know, not this, not not anytime soon. Um, but down the, I I would be surprised unless, you know, I I, I don't know. I mean, the, the thing is, is we're running we're running the clock and the age and and the injuries and and things like that and and the movie career. There's there's so many things that are going on. Like it was just he was going to be a pro wrestler and he was forty. You know, I would say like you know you know it's pretty pretty clear there's so many things you can do and 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 go through it but it's like um how much is he going to do um i mean i think he's having a ball you know i mean when he came out i just again like i know the guy loves wrestling and now when he came out it's like he really was happy to be there he loves that reaction and i think he really wants to do i think he really wants to do that match but you know he's not gonna you know I, I I I I expect that that you know again like I don't need to like like again if he had come back with Roman 
there could have been a thing where it's just like, okay, he hasn't wrestled in how many years, 10 years, or in a serious match. Going to come back, do the one match, put over his cousin, and then that's it for his career. To get his big goodbye at WrestleMania in this giant match that sets all these records. I could see him doing that, right? But now I think that he's in for a longer haul. Because I think yeah, at the that's end... What, that's what I was going to ask you is because he kept mentioning the long run or he's the long i forgot i forgot the exactly long, how he the said long it. game yeah the long game yeah and the, the think... long game could the long game mean like wrestlemania 41 when they do i think match? i would not it would not surprise me at all um you know but again i think that the whole thing is being written you know written as and again it, you know he has to perform at a certain level in this match I'm sure he's going to get himself in shape to do it because he's the one thing I know is he's very prideful. I mean, that's why he didn't do it last year was because he didn't feel he had the time and he's still got a lot of commitments, but I think, um, you know, we'll have to wait and see there's, there's a bunch of shoes to, to, you know, to fall. But I do think that that's probably the, the long game is him and Roman, you know, at, in a match at some point. And, um, you know, even kind of like the whole thing, I mean, he, he brought it up and, and, you know, it was kind of, you know, blaming the fans if it wasn't for you. And it's, it's in its own weird way. It's like, yeah, it's true. If it wasn't for you. That was going to be the main event, you know, I mean, uh, on that Pat McAfee show, he did mention that, you know, all the different places he calls home, he had wrestling rings set up so that he could train and, and work out. So, right, right, right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I want to bring up something before we get going. And the story yes. that I wrote in the Observer um, yesterday, I had seen this clip. Somebody sent me this clip of of, 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 of Dwayne and and Paul Levesque face to face, and this and that. And um, it was actually an old clip. So I think I it was. It I think it was from like ten years ago. I, I yeah. did realize what it was after you told me. Yeah, it was an it was an old clip. So um, yeah, I'm you know so I. As soon as I found out, I took it out of the thing, and I'm apologetic about it, and it was a, a mistake. And um, yeah, um, so I mean that that aspect um, as yeah, kind of a bummer for me, you know. I mean it was a mistake, and uh, I <laughs> thing I didn't like about it, it was you know it's like you hate you know I hate to do a mistake, you know. I'm oh yeah. Like that in anyway, but like this week of all weeks, and it's even for this story, because as as much as I investigated that story you know the, the the whole thing about everything how it went down the timeline the original angle all that i mean that was you know and, and the demore stuff and 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 uh you know i did so much work this week but the the lead story which is the um you know the ashley Massaro story i thought was like one of the most important stories that i have written and um you know just tying those things together as we talked about and i just thought that like um it's it's sad to me that because I made a mistake that um you know it it overwhelmed in a lot of people's eyes, you know, that that you know the the very important story that that I had done, you know, and I've been working on. And it's it's you know, it's my fault and everything, but it's just like it's kind of sad about you know that aspect of it. But you know, it had happens and um I'm sorry about it and uh like I said, like as soon as I found out, I took it right out. And then people are mad, you know, like whatever, because I took it out. And it's like, what do you want me to do? If I make a mistake, you want me to keep it there so you can keep throwing <clears throat> knives at me? So I take it out and you continue throwing knives at me. It's like I made a mistake and, and it's, you know, mistakes like that are going to happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, with, with with how fast stuff moves and and that is it's almost to me the, the sad part also about your observer, because that, you know, in order to read through all of those stories, it does take time. And imagine the time it takes to, to write them, to, to put it together. And especially, and especially this week, because it was like, if I only had to worry about one of those stories, um, it'd be one thing. Um, but it was, a it's, it's so stressful the last couple weeks because the, the story of, of the Cody Rhodes and the rock in and of itself would be gigantic at another point in time and it's still gigantic to a lot of people but to me it's not it's i mean i recognize it's gigantic but to me this other story yeah is so so much more important so they're not even comparable and that's my focus and then even like the rossi ogawa which i didn't even write about this week much at all i wrote about him the week before but the rossi ogawa thing which again that was a very detailed thing and the demore stuff where there's a lot more there's a lot more that that came out this week 
on that. And, and it's, it's again, there's a lot of stuff on that one where um, I know the other side, but at the same time, it's like nothing that I can really go into. There's two sides to every story, but then, you know, like the talent is, is so um, that long letter that the talent wrote, the talent wrote together, you know, to Leonard Asper. And it was Leonard, just so everyone knows, it was Leonard Asper who made the call. He felt that they had to get rid of Scott. They had reasons that they believed were valid. It's it's like they have their side. There are people who who believe, you know, who know the story and believe that their side was right. The talent, you know, obviously like Scott. Um, Scott, you know, the decision was made before the pay per view numbers came in, and probably before they knew the pay per view numbers because somebody actually joked with me about how like uh, when it came to that last pay per view, it's just like. How do you know? Because we sure don't know anything about that, <laughs> you know. And so it's very, very lucky, very, very lucky the connections that I've got there right now. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the pay per view was a giant success. But the, their decision was made, you know, it was a financial thing. You know, it's like, and and the basics is is accurate. You know, what I mean, as far as um, they didn't, you know, I mean, they didn't want to spend as much, and then everything else. And but it's like it is very interesting. Because this is a rarity when when you see talent band together because they rarely do, um, which shows how popular he was with the talent. Mm -hmm. Because how many guys have we seen, you know, fired in wrestling that were bookers, and how many letters have we seen like that to management, written by wrestlers, you know, basically the whole company together in unison? I think it's zero. I don't think I've ever heard of it, which you know tells you, I mean, it makes that whole story very fascinating. Yeah, I mean, the way that the wrestling hierarchy works is if you were not the favorite of that booker, then you probably don't care that much because you want to be the favorite of whoever's going to be next. And then you get pushed. And it, it, it was I, I was kind of floored almost by that letter and, and how I was, too. It and was I, so I, well written and like, yeah. thoughtful. And it was, it was, I mean, the funny thing, I, I was, I was so surprised, even though I had been in contact with several people and I knew those sentiments were strong. And I knew about the meeting, you know, that there were, there were people at the meeting when Leonard Asper did the zoom call with everyone that were very, very hot. And, and, and I think, and, and, and it was kind of said to me, like everyone was hot. Cause I kind of wrote about, you know, Frankie Kazarian kind of being, you know, calming people down voice of reason and I had not talked to him or heard from him directly, but people were going like, look, he was, he was just as mad as everyone, but it was like, we have to listen. And, 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 and he just wanted the meeting to stay under control. Um, but the talent was, it was a very unpopular decision. Um, and, you know, I guess, I guess Scott could probably take a lot of uh, pride because man, I have never, I, I can't come up with one situation where something like this happened where the talent wrote a letter like that and the talent was, you know, I don't want to say unanimous, but, but the vast, vast majority were, were thinking alike. And how often is that in wrestling? You know, because like you said, like if there's a booker, it's like, sure. The people on top that are your favorites, of course, they're going to be mad, but it, in every, with every booker, half the people who aren't on top, you know, and think they should be, are going to be rejoicing that the booker's gone. And that did not, you know, or the, you know, not just the booker, he was the president of the whole company, but you know, that's kind of like the, so, so that's a, that's a very fascinating, interesting story. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.